guys and welcome back to yet another video and today it's a tier list video pretty much in this tier list video we'll be rating all real madrid players in the 1920 season anyway the last time i did our tier list was during lockdown and it was it was not conveniently accurate yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in my senses right now and uh, let's do this. So a quick tier introduction ladies and gentlemen. The top tier. Yes! That is obviously the most important players in the team currently and not even a natural calamity will shift their position from that position. Obviously we get a bit serious from here. Key performers, all those key performers who have been an integral part of this season, done well, amazing. Done well is someone who has done conveniently well, but they could have done much better than what they have done. They have shown sparks of brilliance here and there this season, but we expect more from you. Not good enough is obviously not good enough. You have to step your boots up. I'm not going to take no for an answer because we need you and you need to step your boots up here. We'll not just sit silently and wait for you to perform. You will perform, all right? Needs to go is... Okay, please leave the club because I don't know if... You're required here. <laughs> On a serious note, the needs to go tier is essentially that tier where we evaluate and reflect upon players that actually need to leave this club for their own good and secondly for their club's good. Wait, it's the reverse. <laughs> for their club's good first and their own good secondly. And the last tier is... Yeah, let's get into the tier list real quick. Okay, we start off with Lucas Vasquez. Now with Lucas Vasquez, now with Lucas Vasquez, let me be very honest, okay? He's the GOAT! But at the same time, if I'm being very objective, I know we all love Lucas Vasquez. I know Lucas Vasquez is unselfish. I know Lucas Vasquez is a true Madridista, all right? It's calm, it's cool, I agree. But at the same time, we are also trying to evaluate where Lucas Vasquez stands currently at the club. And looking at the situation, it doesn't look like he's going to even play in the upcoming seasons. And I feel like he's not that bad also. I feel like his services could be used elsewhere. Two years ago, I would have probably said he'd done well. But right now, we have too much talent coming in. We have Takefusa Kubo coming in next season. We have Rodrigo already on the right. We have Asensio. I know Lucas Vasquez can offer versatility also when he plays as a wing back, but believe me, I don't see the real worth in actually keeping Lucas Vasquez at the club. I will never forget his contribution when uh, he was fouled by Benatia for us to go through to the semi-finals in the 2018 Champions League. However, looking at the situation currently, Lucas Vasquez needs to go. Eder Militao! Wow! You know what? With Eder Militao, I thought he was actually trash initially, okay? He was not that confident on the ball. He seemed a bit shaky here and there. But believe me, Eder Militao truly smashed it in Sergio Ramos' absence quite a lot of times this season. And even in Rafael Varane's absence, especially during lockdown, he has smashed it, okay? I agree that's not his best. That's not his best at all. I think I've seen him play better at Porto itself. But this was his first season, okay? This was his first season. And I feel like, and I feel like with where Real Madrid is going right now with our defense, Eder Militao can really come in handy, all right? He's a solid performer. He will deliver. I truly believe in Eder Militao. I will say he's done well. He's, he's done well. He can improve, obviously. Oh, oh, go, go. That's it. Nacho. Mm. I mean, I feel like this is a no-brainer. This is literally the same Lucas Vasquez situation here. People are gonna say he's a true servant. I get that. But the way I am looking at it, I don't see how Nacho actually offers to this team. I see Real Madrid signing better central defenders in the upcoming future. I think there's also a rumor going around that uh, Real Madrid are set to sign Julius Kunde from Sevilla. And obviously the moves that Real Madrid is trying to make I don't even know what role Nacho is going to play at this club. He's a good player, he's a solid defender, I've seen how he's played in the past. 
but at the same time let's not deny that nachos services can be used elsewhere where you can actually make use of them luca yo oh man you pissed me off man this season i swear to god you pissed me off i agree i very wholeheartedly agree zinedine zidane didn't give him many chances okay i know he didn't give him many chances but what are you doing whenever you get a chance you don't perform that well and whenever he started for real madrid he hasn't clicked and obviously he's done the whole debacle with uh, you know breaking quarantine rules in serbia so on and off the field he has pissed me off however i like luka jovic a lot i like the way he plays i do believe that luka jovic will bang next season he can do this man i truly believe he can do this just pull up your socks and don't embarrass us next season please that's why i didn't put him in needs to go he clearly wasn't good enough but he doesn't need needs to go <laughs> eden has yeah need not good enough there's no explanation here top signing and came in 7 kg overweight when he arrived at real madrid to be fair to him he was injured thrice in the same season and that must have really hit his confidence Obviously Eden Hazard brings so much quality with him no one can deny that one can look at Eden Hazard's June and July highlights and say that he's done he's finished he can't dribble the player or what are uh, but the way i'm looking at it is that i don't want to be too critical with Eden Hazard because he's had his fair share of setbacks which he did not clearly deserve next season we're going for the throat okay we're going for the throat next season Mariano oh, he, he needs to go man he needs to go. You know what I actually feel sorry for Mariano man because this man in 1718 scored 21 league one goals and here he is literally not able to get off the mark. You know what I'm actually very surprised that he was able to score against Barcelona but it's the 1920 Barcelona so whatever. <laughs> I feel like Mariano is really talented and uh, his services could be used elsewhere. I feel like that would be a mad mad opportunity for him to go and thrive elsewhere he's a good player i always saw him as one but maybe not here tony cruz mm you know what with tony cruz i'm going to say he's a key performer but i think one or two seasons down the line he'll not find himself at the key performer stage tony cruz's mobility is decreasing uh, he is still contributing there are numbers to prove that he is still doing it if anything forcibly he has had to adapt to an attacking role that he was not really niche to <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying at this point the attacking role wasn't too specific to him but he had to step his boots sometimes in the earlier part of the seasons especially especially during the times uh, zinedine zidane wasn't particularly counting on isco but tony cruz always does his thing always a key legit performer that's it federico man federico valverde man key performer man this season he has done bits he has smashed it his work ethic his counter pressing skills his ball recovery his reading of the game are absolutely phenomenal however for all those people who do not understand the whole situation fully please do not look at feder valverde as someone as a replacement to luka modric modric and feder valverde play completely different roles don't try and make the mistake that feder valverde is a replacement to luka modric okay just because we've been doing well we need someone better than feder valverde in an offensive standpoint but seriously as a team player he has truly smashed it this season thibaut courtois you know what with thibaut courtois Yes! Because have you seen the amount of clutch saves he's made in the league man especially in a Real Madrid where narrow victories was key to each and every game that contributed to our league title we weren't the most strongest in the offensive department obviously our defensive structure and defensive step up has contributed a shit ton i will not deny that but thibaut courtois has done obviously so much this season that he deserves a yes marcelo you know what marcelo is not good enough man does he come in good enough or does he come under done well 
I don't know if he's done well this season because you know what my love for Marcelo is shadowing me man from putting him at uh, not good enough but if I were trying to be objective I would say the Marcelo wasn't good enough obviously Marcelo has done mistakes okay especially the way he can't cover up that much defensively anymore his threat up front has also decreased but no way in the wildest of my dreams I would ever say that Marcelo needs to go because that's that's just untrue. Kareem Benzema, you deserve a... Yes! Kareem Benzema has carried this team, man. Yo, Kareem Benzema is like one of those MVPs for sure. Kareem Benzema literally gave everything, man, for this institution, I swear. Man was even supposed to win the Pichichi, man, and Messi came in between. Shit! Kareem Benzema didn't even take a penalty, man. I think he took one, that's it, but not more than that. Despite Sergio Ramos literally taking all his share of penalties, Benzema has smashed it, man. God, 21 goals in the league. Are you crazy? Sergio Ramos again deserves a... Yes! Obviously, Sergio Ramos is the GOAT! He's an absolute warrior, gave everything this season. One of the most important parts played in this league dub, man. If only he was there in Manchester, oh. But it's all in the past, so I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. Like, Manchester City didn't even make the quarterfinals, so suck it <laughs> okay suck it but no obviously Sergio Ramos is one of the most important players Real Madrid has and always will be one of the most important players ever and his contribution even <laughs> on the goal scoring front he had double figures man <laughs> he had double figures and uh, and defensively he's an absolute warrior so he has done bits oh is that James Rodriguez needs to go and I believe he is going as well to Atletico or Everton I think it's Everton now I think uh, James Rodriguez wants to rightfully reunite with his uh, older Real Madrid bars cost Carlo <laughs> Carlo Ancelotti I would say it's a pretty good move you know I would say that's a really good move because Carlo Ancelotti has done nothing but favor him wherever he went to it's not that James is a bad player you know what I actually prefer James over Isco if anything you know what James's game is so underrated that many people including Zinedine Zidane in my opinion would actually fail to recognize I'm not trying to correct Zidane obviously he knows much 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 better than me I'm not even a momentary speck in front of his decisions however I think even Zinedine Zidane will agree that Hamas isn't bad but he's just the right player at the wrong time that's it oh Alphonse Ariola is already going and uh, obviously he didn't offer as much as I thought he would when he arrived at Real Madrid I personally thought Alphonse Ariola was doing well in a time when Thibaut Kota was actually under scrutiny and uh, was not really doing that well as everyone thought he was supposed to be doing however uh, the game against Real Sociedad uh, it was just a total toss man it was, it was such a toss obviously it's not about Alphonse Ariola's performances as well I don't see him as someone who would continue that's it I just fail to recognize him or fail to accept him as a Real Madrid player and obviously was on loan so I did not see the future of him here as well Forlan oh is that Forlan man? Oh, it's Vinicius Jr. <laughs> Vinicius Jr. was a key performer, man. Last season, I would say, even though he carried us throughout the season, especially for the part where we were absolutely dog shit. This season, he has stepped his game up, man. And to be honest, he might look like someone who is underperforming because his dribbling success rate is low. But believe me, that's a very dumb fact to be blindsided by because his progressive distance is over the charts, man. It's nearly, it's nearly 45% more than last season, man. So you don't know how deep that is. He has truly smashed it, man. I believe like the more he matures, the more he'll bring actually efficient goal output to his game. If he just gets a good goal scoring end product man will be unstoppable man oh isco you know what with isco i would say that i'd say it's just done well i won't say he's a key performer because he simply wasn't because on all sorts of offensive stats he has taken a dip yeah the dip is not as bad as 1819 because 1819 was a hell of a season for him the negative hell 
<laughs> what it was hell okay it was just hell and isco has already been like injured for more than 35 to 40 days i believe this season i would say he has only had flashes of brilliance where i have like only two or three memorable performances of him but uh, not more than that obviously his 16 17 and 17 18 shadow this completely i would say he's done well he's done well he doesn't deserve to go he doesn't deserve to say he's not good enough because that isn't true he wasn't an important player but okay he's done well luka modric man man this dude was on fire man after the whole lockdown period was finished like literally i was shaking my head in disbelief man i was just thinking to myself nah this is not true this can't be luka modric this can't be the man who has been shadowed the whole season and been benched for most of the season but the way he was playing the flamboyant nature of his game ah oh, no it was really amazing it was really good for a part of the season only and you know what i respect about luka modric the most is his amazing nature of the field man this man has literally agreed to take a back seat so that Martin Odegaard can make his mark into the team and he has already agreed on taking a lower salary and a new contract for that as well. Your round of applause for Luka Modric man, he is amazing, he is an amazing human being. Rodrigo, you know what Rodrigo, I will say that Rodrigo was a uh, done well player, he is done well. I won't say he's a key performer because he just wasn't. Galatasaray hat trick was amazing, okay, not taking anything away from that. But I believe that he needs to do a lot more and you know, he'll get there, he'll get there, he'll obviously get there. He's also pretty young, he's also progressing with Vinicius Jr. And given the opportunities that Rodrigo might be getting next season, that will be done as well. Brahim Diaz. I don't know. I don't know where to put Brahim Diaz, man. Obviously, I don't want him sold. But at the same time, I can't even put him at not good enough because he didn't get many opportunities. Either he's on the bench or either he's just in the squad but not picked for the 18 or 19 member squad for the match. I would say he was not good enough because... I don't remember many memorable performances of his when he came off the bench as well. Or maybe I am wrong because I do remember after lockdown there was this one game where Brahim Diaz was really playing really really well. But I'm happy for him, you know, he's getting a loan move, he's going to AC Milan, we'll get some game time there. Yo, our youngsters are just stacked, man. It's only a matter of time when Kylian Mbappe enters this club and everyone will be finished. Yo, full on Mondi, man, full on Mondi. Key, oh. Uh, key performer man I was really scared about how Marcelo's boots were going to be filled by someone because Marcelo's boots are too big to fill I don't believe that Forlan Mandi is at Marcelo's levels yet he's clearly not but the level of quality that he's shown at Real Madrid is truly phenomenal and I really respect that I really love that he was able to do this Danny Carvajal one key performer once again constantly performing work ethic very good work ethic and to be honest I feel like he was really very very much underrated and especially for people who did not observe Danny Carvajal I will say that in a time where Real Madrid's chance creation was just in the bin where we did not have significant chance creators Fede Valverde and Danny Carvajal tried their best to fill that void. I know they were not really close to what Modric did in the 2016 to 2018 period. I know it's not close. We are still not a complete team. We just need a bit few adjustments. But Danny Carvajal has proved himself to be a versatile player there also. We've got Rafael Varane man. Rafael Varane, you know what? I have to apologize to Rafael Varane man. I should have never said the stuff that I said to him when I was really upset about losing the Champions League game against Manchester City. I would really say that the emotions got the best of me, but believe me, if there was no Rafael Varane this season, there was no league title this season. And everyone makes mistakes, and he did too this time. I just wish that because we are Real Madrid, we don't underperform in big occasions like that, because we are made for those occasions and it really upset me that we didn't step up to the challenge but believe me Rafael Varane is like one of my favorite players I don't know what I said I don't know why I said that I was just really upset but forget it okay just <laughs> forget it Casemiro deserves a yes why is this not going up huh? this is the problem with using a keypad yeah 
mouse pad and <laughs> sorry yeah obviously i don't have to repeat myself on this again and again because this is just nonsense for me to repeat this but casemiro is clearly the best player in real madrid and probably the most important player in real madrid i don't need to stress this enough people know if he underperforms the team is in the bin and if he performs really well we get the dub i just hope that we get some offensive players in the upcoming seasons starting from the next one itself so that casemiro gets less of the ball so that he doesn't have to go up front and you know cover more ground which makes him prone to mistakes a bit i feel like that's what the problem was in the manchester city game so it is what it is okay and the last player the best player in real madrid gareth frank bale deserves a special tier for himself called gareth bale because uh, he is out of comparison he is out of this world so that is the tier list ladies and gentlemen screenshot that shit man screenshot it i believe i've been more accurate than anyone if you have any problem with the tier list let me know in the comments down below if you're really pissed off all right i believe i was not too controversial this time and i've done a fair job at rating all the players i'll see you in our next video take care and peace hey,